Girl, it's cold outside finally. Well, cold in Texas. It's 70 degrees this morning. So it's time to start making some soups, girl, and some beans and stuff. This is a 15 bean Cajun soup pack. And I'm gonna make a 15 bean Cajun soup, okay? I'm gonna show you how we do it. Uh, I poured the beans in eight cups of water and let them sit overnight. So now I'm gonna drain the water off, rinse them off, and then we're gonna get started. Let's get started cooking. I'll show you how we do this. Girl, this will blow your mind, honey. All right, so hopefully you can find this in your store. They also have the same brand that's not Cajun. It's just 15 bean soup, but you can make it Cajun, girl. I just buy the, the only thing that makes it Cajun is they give you a pack of Cajun seasoning in there, okay? So you don't really, you can just buy the regular one if you have Cajun seasoning, but they're the same price. I just go ahead and do it because I like to add their seasoning, but I add a little more. But here's what you're gonna do, okay? I've tweaked this recipe up. It's got what you need on the back, but I'm just gonna show you how I do it, okay? So you're gonna need a large onion chopped, a couple small bell peppers or one large bell pepper. You're gonna need two to three garlic cloves. I like to chop a jalapeno and throw it all up in mine. You're gonna need a juice from one lemon, of course, and then you're gonna need some uh, beef bouillon cubes, okay? there's I think this is eight cups of water, so you're probably gonna need about four of these cubes. I think one cube is for two cups of water. So you're gonna need some beef bouillon. Uh, I got one uh, 12 ounce pack of uh, chopped sausage, or sliced sausage. It says you can use Italian or Polish sausage, whatever. I just using some jalapeno because this was on sale and it's already sliced, so. And then uh, get you a couple of smoked ham hocks, girl, smoked ham hocks, okay? That's what's gonna set it the fuck off right there, okay? And then you're gonna need your eight cups of water. Okay, and then you're also gonna need one 14.5 ounce can of diced uh, tomatoes, okay? Uh, I just happened to buy the fire roasted garlic because it uh, sounds good. So I'm gonna throw that in there. And then I got me some extra Cajun seasoning. And then I also put some fajita seasoning in mine, okay? So that's all you're gonna need. Fajita seasoning, the water too. Girl, you're gonna have to write all this down. Anyway, not much to it, but this 15 bean soup, hopefully you can find it. There's other brands and some of it's called 10 bean soup or whatever. Anyway, I got I soaked them overnight in eight cups of water. So I gotta drain these and rinse them. And then we're gonna put eight more cups of water on there and get started. Girl, just watch the video. Shoot. All right, pour your beans in a colander, get all that water off of them that they were soaking in overnight. Get the nasty sponge away from there. And then uh, you just wanna rinse them in your colander with some fresh water, okay? That's what it is. Got all kinds of beans in there, girl. You know, we're just gonna rinse them real good. We're gonna put them in a fresh, clean pot. Or you could use the pot that we're soaking in. Just make sure you wash it. And then we're gonna get started on that girl. We're gonna add a couple of girls. Just watch the video, shit. All right, after you got your beans and some fresh water in a clean pot, first thing we're gonna do, girl, we're gonna put four of these uh, bouillon cubes in there, okay? Oh shit, there went one on the floor. Don't touch that product, I'll kick your ass, girl. This bitch will eat anything. Hold on. <laughs> I dropped it on the floor, the dog will eat it. Four of those cubes, okay? Four bouillon cubes. And uh, and then you're gonna put uh, your two ham hocks in there, okay? Put your smoked ham hocks in there. Then we'll turn the fire on, girl. Get it boiling. Once it's boiling, we're gonna turn it down to a simmer. We're gonna simmer it for, I think, yeah, one hour. One hour, we're gonna simmer it like that. Just the bouillon and the ham hock. All right, girl, it's obviously boiling because it's steaming, okay? So. Turn the fire down to about four on my stove because I want to slow it down. Okay, so they're boiling. And then uh, I'm going to cover it back up and I'm just going to slowly boil it for one hour or a simmer, they may call it, okay? We'll come back in one hour, girl. All right, girl, this has been simmering for one hour, okay? So now we're going to give it a little stir. Actually, I stirred it about halfway through in about 30 minutes, but it's looking good, okay? So that's one hour. So now, very easy. We're just gonna add the rest of our ingredients, honey. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the jalapeno and onion. Throw the jalapeno and onion in there, girl. 
That's about four cloves of garlic, and I just used one of the uh, bell peppers. I figured that's enough. So one bell pepper, about four cloves of garlic. Okay, put that in there. Then you're gonna put your smoked sausage in there, or whatever, whatever kind of sausage you wanna use, Polish sausage, or whatever. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and dump our can of 14 and a half ounce can of uh, diced tomatoes in there, girl. Okay, we'll put that in there. Give it a little stir. Girl, this barely fits in my pot, shoot. <laughs> oh, girl, this is going to be so good. We're not done yet. Hold on. I'm just giving it a stir, okay? Getting all the shit mixed in there real quick. All right. Then we're gonna put the juice of one lemon in there, girl. Uh, I need, I don't have a strainer thingy, so I'm gonna use my sifter. <laughs> but I'm gonna squeeze the lemon juice in there, but I don't want the seeds in there. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Because I don't want the seeds all up in my soup. Okay. Juice of one lemon, that's one half there. And then the other half, girl. You don't want them seeds in there, girl. That's nasty. They don't taste good and they might break somebody's tooth. I was watching Trailer Trash Tammy the other day and her friend broke, Libby, she broke her tooth eating a damn salad. Girl, how do you break a tooth to eat in a cell? <laughs> Shit must be rotten, honey. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour their bag of se uh, Cajun seasoning in here. All right. The one they provided. And then I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of mines on top. Not much. I'm just going to kind of coat the top. Kind of like that. And then I like to hit it with some of my fajita seasoning girl any kind of fajita seasoning this is the brand i like this is basically just all right just a little bit like that because what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and cover it let's mix it up real good we want to cover it and we're going to keep cooking it about 30 minutes uh -oh. i'm going to cook it about 30 minutes and then i'm going to give it a taste test and then if i need any more cajun seasoning or fajita seasoning I can add it, but I don't want to overdo it at first because it's already got the, the bouillon in there and all that, okay? All right, so there we go, girl. Let's cover it up. Can I grab the top? Yes, it's not too hot. So I'm going to cover it back up, and uh, we'll come back in a... Uh, in a well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you see the taste test. We'll come back in 30 minutes. All right, girl, it's been 30 minutes, so let's take the lid off. We're going to give it just a little taste test. See where we are on our seasonings. We're still going to cook it 30 more minutes. Okay, give it a little stir. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. I can feel it like a little bit of it trying to stick to the bottom. So I probably got my fire a little high, so I turned it all the way down below now. Okay. We'll see where we're at in our season. Actually, we're going to see where we're at on our bean softness too hard. So let's see what we taste, what it tastes like. Oh, it's perfect. I don't need to add nothing to it, girl. So since I'm getting a little stickage, I think I was cooking it maybe a little too high. I definitely don't want it to start to burn because that flavor is gonna get all up in the soup. I think, let's see, let's get some beans on here, girl. Let's see how soft they are. Let's mm. You know what? That's actually perfect. I'm going to turn the fire off. You don't need to cook anymore, girl. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're not done yet, girl. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull these... Uh, We'll pull these ham hocks out of here. And I'm gonna put them on a plate and let them cool. And then after they cool, 
I'm gonna take the meat off, kind of cut it up and throw it back in the soup with the bones, okay? If you don't want somebody to just take a whole ham hock, go sit down and eat it like a big fat ass and nobody else gets no ham hock, girl, shit. Come right back. All right, I got the meat off the ham hock bones and I chopped the meat up, okay? So now we're just gonna put the bones back in there. Cause some people like to suck the bone, girl. <laughs> and then we're gonna put our ham hock meat back in there, girl. Shit. It's ready, girl. It's ready to serve. And the longer it sits, the, lo the better it tastes, honey, I'm telling you. It's gonna, let's give it a taste test. Get us some out of here. Get some ham hock and some of the beans, girls. Get some of that sausage on top already. A little bit of the juice already. Shit. Hold on, hold on, girl. <laughs> Shit, there it is, girl. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, shit. I'll get a little scoop of the sausage and a little scoop of the uh, ham hock. Very good. I imagine that hot bun. You want to taste it? Yeah. Where you going, bitch? <laughs> going shopping. He's going shopping. Buy me something. Y'all like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.